if he blocks, pushes downwards again, right? Take it for a walk around the circle. Because with the circle, you're constantly. Ah. Okay, so if I'm in like sparring range where everybody starts with all three, that's what the rears are for. Because it wakes me up and gets me close, right? So if you're fighting, fight with me, right? My rears become major, major problems. The looser and softer I am. Right? The more of this starts to happen. So I don't have to just try this or try this. Because I just don't care what happens next. Does that make sense? So he can't run. I'll just keep him. You see what I mean? So you should be able to get into a range that you can always hit with your elbow. Oh my shit. And then stay here, because I have all of my limbs now. So if I can hit him like this, I can hit him with all of this. That's where you get this weird rolling part of the horse, right? Cool, huh? I have no fear of opponent in front of me. That I am very self-sufficient. That they do not bother me. And
So I take the transitional posture and I release tension from the top of the head, it's just like I did earlier. And now I root. I'll drive my legs down into the earth and I'll feel myself settle. And even this throughout that I was referring to in earth, I should feel it here in my body. My body should feel the same all over it, meaning soft. And then like the salt settling to the bottom of the glass, I'll feel my weight settle into my legs. And this should suck. When you do this for a while, this should really hurt. So here I am, two tenths, rooting. And I imagine my legs down into the earth. And then when I've done that for a number of breaths, say eight or 10 or 12 breaths, I'll do the other side. Right, so now I'm lotus stepping in this direction. Eight or 10, 12 breaths, down into the ground. I'll switch again. 